Time now for News Extra, and with our program, here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Uh, our guest today is Tom Hunter, and I haven't seen Tom for a long, long time. Uh, worked with the county attorney's office as a, a, a victim advocate and so forth, and uh, he did that for a long time. Welcome, Tom. Appreciate you. you coming in. Thank you, Kevin. So Tom, much. Tom is here uh, as part of a Buckboard Therapeutic Riding Academy. Uh, talking about their sixth annual pancake feed uh, fundraiser for uh, Buckboard. And uh, let's just talk about uh, when it is, first of all, then we'll talk about Buckboard a little bit. Thank you, Kevin. It's this Saturday morning from 7 to 11, and we are using the uh, Knights of Columbus, and they have been uh, just tremendous in uh, letting us use their facility. It's a tremendous facility over there. And the tickets are $7 for adults, and children five and under are free. And uh, we're going to have live music. Uh, one of our board members' uh, kids, uh, there's about four uh, students that bring their instruments, and we have live music, and uh, it's a stringed instruments that we have. Uh, it's a good time to meet friends, and um, we see faithful ones coming year after year, and uh, we're looking forward to it again this year. That's fantastic. Tickets available at First State Bank in Scotts Bluff from any board member. We'll talk about the board members here in just a minute. Or you can simply call them at 783-2319. This organization has been uh, going on for many, many years, organized by Kathy Gatch, and the Buckboard uh, facilities are still on her property, right? Yes, it is. Uh, She organized the uh, work back in 1998, and it's at uh, her ranch there uh, with her and Dick, and uh, she has done a fabulous work with it. And uh, we have a an enclosure enclosure now, and uh, we're looking to build a a uh, facility that we can go year round. Yeah. So you've raised ninety eight thousand dollars toward that. They need about double that, so they're still raising funds. For people that don't know what Buckboard Therapeutic Riding Academy is, why don't you why don't you tell them all about it? Sure, uh, Buckboard Therapeutic Riding Academy is for special need children. My wife and I we have a special need granddaughter, and uh, when she lived in Big Piney, Wyoming, she had uh, been she was riding up in Jackson, Wyoming, and we used to go to the equine Special Olympic events at Casper, and it's just amazing to see the uh, transformation of a, of a child, of a young person on a horse. We don't use regular saddles. We have the, the motion of the horse uh, integrating with the motion and the muscular you know, body of the, of the rider and uh, the massage and everything. And they're used, they use different exercises. And I say, too, that the therapeutic uh, program for each rider is prescribed and guided by a therapist. So we have a prescribed program for each rider that comes. It's not just riding a horse, you know. Um, So it's to benefit each one of these. We have cerebral palsy, autism, spina bifida, uh, even deafness and blindness, multiple sclerosis, uh, learning disabilities, Down syndrome, muscular dystrophy, just a host of different uh, conditions that children and young people have, and adults have too. Yeah, yeah. you know that uh, we uh, are able to help. Yeah, it's a fantastic program. It really is. It works works very well, and uh, uh, you know, folks folks take advantage of it, and uh, they all say it works wonders for them. So we'll talk more with Tom right after this. Monument Home Solution is a proud sponsor of the Scotts Bluff County 4-H program. Where can kids have fun, participate in exciting hands-on activities, and make new friends? Any 4-H member can tell you. 4-H has something for everyone. Boys and girls ages 5 to 18 join 4-H to learn about science, engineering, technology, community service, nutrition, exercise, and more. 4-H has so much to offer. Thank Thanks to businesses like Monument Home Solutions. Back on News Extra this morning, we have Tom Hunter here. He is a board member with Buckboard Therapeutic Riding Academy. 
uh, the academy over at uh, the uh, Gatch Ranch. Uh, Kathy Ranch, uh, Kathy Gatch o- organized this in 1998, and their facilities are over on uh, her ranch over there, over by uh, Minotaur, isn't it? It is. It is, yes. And uh, um, does they just do wonderful jobs. We're promoting the 6th Annual Pancake Feed, a fundraiser to help them raise funds for an enclosed arena. And that Pancake Feed is coming up on... Saturday, this Saturday, March uh, 26, 7 to 11 a.m. Over at Knights at Columbus Hall, it's just $7 all you can eat. Children 5 and under are free. You can get your tickets from First State Bank board members or just uh, stop by that morning. Let's talk about some of the board members that are uh, uh, working with you guys. And also, you've had a lot of volunteers as well, right? We have, Kevin. Uh, We have, of course, Kathy Gatch is the founder and director of our uh, program there. Uh, Sharisa Spar works at Smith Transport. She has been on the board for a number of years. Right. And uh, Julie Kappen is new this year. She was a former manager at uh, uh, Murdoch. Um, no. Yeah. It was, it was Murdoch. Yeah. 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 You get them and some of the other places mixed up. But then, then uh, Tony Straub, the Captain Straub from the PD, uh, he's joined this year and he's very much interested. He rides his children, his family rides, and uh, he has a big heart. He was actually to be here today in my place, and uh, he had a family emergency that he couldn't uh, be here. Uh, Russ Beck, uh, coach of the basketball team out to college, uh, has been a, a new member, has a tremendous contribution to our uh, program. Chris Bear, uh, Chris is a state trooper. And he's been with the program for as long as I have. I came when Derek Weimer was uh, the uh, chairman of the board. And uh, I can't remember the dates. My dates just don't stay with me anymore. But uh, then I have been the uh, chairman board for, I don't know, six, seven years. And uh, it's been really good. Last year, or last summer, rather, we had... um, 78 volunteers uh, had the men's basketball team from the college, Panhead on Mental Health Center, uh, UPS drivers, uh, Buckboard board members, uh, the University of Nebraska nurses, student nurses, uh, UN radiology students, uh, NSP troopers, the sheriff's office, Scottsdale County Sheriff's Office has helped us tremendous, uh, and then military service personnel and volunteers. So we've had a, a community has responded very well to uh, to our needs. They come out and and paint and clean and repair and really do whatever manual labor you know needs to be done. All right. Once again, the pancake feed this Saturday, seven to eleven a.m. over at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Hope you can uh, get involved and uh, help them out with a little money. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Well, Tom thank Hunt. you so much, Kevin. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. You bet.